Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go! Those chants typically echo through Lambeau Field during Green Bay Packers home games. On Sunday, the theme changed to Joe Must Go! Joe Must Go! Green Bay Packers defensive coordinator Joe Barry has been on the hot seat for more than a year now, as his unit continues to disappoint. Things hit a new low, though, in the Packers' 34-20 loss to visiting Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers scored on six of their eight possessions and compiled their second most points of the season. Tampa Bay piled up 452 total yards and averaged a ridiculous 7. 5 yards per play. Afterwards, Green Bay head coach Matt LaFleur was asked if he would consider dumping Barry. Uh yeah, now's not the time for that, to be honest with you, LaFleur said. When pressed as to why not, LaFleur continued, because now's not the time. I'm trying to find solutions and I've got to go back and take a look at the film. Tampa Bay improved to 7-7 and maintained its hold on first place in the NFC South. The Packers, who started the day with the seventh and final playoff spot, fell to 6-8 and out of the postseason for the time being. We've put ourselves in one heck of a hole and the only thing that's going to cure it is we've got to win out, Green Bay right guard John Runyon said. Who knows what's going to happen? We're 6-8 right now and 9-8 gets you to a good spot. So we'll see what happens. I think it's doable. Here's the good, bad and ugly from the Packers loss to the Buccaneers, beginning with the ugly, defenseless. Buffalo and Pittsburgh have fired offensive coordinators this year. Philadelphia and Washington have fired defensive coordinators. While Lafleur said he won't dump Barry with three games left, there will be an outcry for the Packers head coach to go in a different direction. That's because Tampa Bay quarterback Baker Mayfield had perhaps the best day of his rocky career with four touchdown passes and a perfect 158. 3 passer rating. Wideout Chris Godwin went wild with 10 catches. Running back Rashid White had 89 rushing yards and a 26-yard TD reception. David Moore, Mike Evans and Co. Keeft had touchdown receptions, as well. In every way, shape and form it was an embarrassing performance from Barry's defense. And Barry's seat went from hot to scalding. It's all concerning, right? when it looks like there's some confusion going on back there," Lafleur said. You've got to be so coordinated and so in tune, really on all three levels. Every guy plays off one another and when there's any type of miscommunication, you get gashed and that's what happened. Added cornerback Carrington Valentine. I mean, I'm pissed, as you all can see. As a competitor, I don't like it. But you know, it's the nature of the job so we've got to figure it out. Baker goes wild. Tampa Bay quarterback Baker Mayfield has had some miserable performances at Lambeau Field in recent years. He threw four interceptions two years ago when he was with Cleveland, 